and welcome back to my channel for another unboxing video. My name is Edison and I'm a Hero Clicks player from Singapore. And today we have a very special unboxing because we'll be opening one brick of the Marvel Hero Clicks Deadpool Weapon X set. And we're going to take a look at all 10 boosters today. And as a huge X Men fan, I can't tell you how excited I am. We'll also be opening one Legacy card pack. As you can see, I've already set aside the Legacy figures that I own. Hopefully, this card will be for one of them. Fingers crossed it's Wolverine X23 because those are my favorite characters. I'd like to thank WizKids for sending me this brick way before the release date so that we can have fun together and crack open these contents. I would also like to thank my local game store, Team Bot Game, for giving me this venue to do this unboxing video. So without further ado, let's crack some boosters open. Let's tear this plastic wrapping away and get to these 10 boosters. I've been a huge fan of Wolverine ever since I was a child and it's my pleasure to be doing this with you today. And let's take a quick look at the box art. We got Deadpool reading the history book of Wolverine. And here are some variants of Deadpool. Looks like we got a panda pool. And here are members of the X-Force team. And here are different versions of Wolverine, different periods of his life as well as the X-Men, and right there in the middle is Professor X. And here is real brotherhood between Deadpool and Wolverine. I believe that is one of the chase figures for this set. And let us open our very first booster. Here we go. And it looks like we open a Black Widow. Okay, that's a common figure. We got a common cannonball, Jeff the Land Shark, Quentin Choir Kid Omega, as well as a rare Jean Grey. That's cool. For our very first booster, we got a wide variety of characters. I was actually very surprised to see Black Widow to be part of the set. And here we go, Black Widow for 25 points, a total of 4 clicks. Okay, she has the Avengers team ability as well as a Hot Shots trait. Very nice. And here is Cannonball. Okay, 55 points. Avengers New Mutants keyword. Nothing at the back. Now, always feel free to pause this video if you want to take a read of these character cards. And here's Jeff the Land Shark, 25 points, tiny size. That is so adorable. Shark in the pool as his special damage power. And here we have the pizza token. Looks like me and Jeff can be best friends because I love eating pizza. And here's our next character, Kid Omega. And look at that shirt, okay? It is the Magneto was right shirt. And he also has that as a trait. 50 points, 5 solid clicks. With the Brotherhood team ability. I really want to see the scout if they really printed that Magneto was right on his t-shirt. And here's Jean Grey, 50 points, a total of 6 clicks. This is a very cool support piece with mind control, telekinesis. And here is the character checklist. Now you can always pause this video to see all the characters that will be in this set. Based on this checklist, Vox Ignis as well as Zombie Wolverine are two characters that I'm really looking forward to. And let's take a quick look at the sculpts. Here we have Black Widow, Natasha Romanoff in a classic black costume. We've also got Cannonball, which you can play him at 55 points and he opens with a 19 defense. Very high value. And let's pry these three characters out. Okay. Jean Grey in a classic costume. And here we have Jeff the Land Shark, so adorable, eating a slice of pizza. I think he goes well with Lucky the Pizza Dog. And here is Quentin Choir with the Magneto was right printed on his t-shirt. That is so cool. And here is Jean Grey. This is the Jim Lee colors. Very, very cool. The same uniform that you see in the X-Men animated series in the early 90s. Which just have a new season called X-Men 97. And here we go on with booster number 2. This has to be the year of the X-Men, right? We got X-Men 97. We've got Deadpool and Wolverine movie coming out in July. And in June, we're going to have this Deadpool Weapon X set. And here we got Wolverine. Okay, this is the 001 Wolverine. We got Lady Mastermind. We got Outlaw and Psylocke as well as a Rare Forge. Okay, looks like we actually opened two Rare Figures inside this booster. It rarely happens, pun intended. And let's see. Here we got a Hot Shots card. I really like these additional cards that they included in these boosters. They give you more information about these characters as well as how to use them. And here we have Domino with a Domino die. And let's take a look at Wolverine, 50 points. Blades, Claws, Fangs, he is the best at what he does. 
a very simple DAO, switches between charge and stealth, and he ends with some regeneration clicks. And here's Lady Mastermind. You can't get any more vanilla than this. 40 points for a mind control piece with enhancement. She has Mastermind herself. And here we have Outlaw, one of the hotshot characters. You can play her at 65 points. Running Shot, Super Strength, and Empower. Okay, nice combination of powers at the back of the card. And let's take a look at our very first rare figure for this booster. We got two rares. We got Psylocke, Psychic Ninja. You can play her at two different point values of 75 points or 40 points. If you're the player at 75 points, you actually open with charge. And you have a very, very long special attack power, Psionic Blade Disruption. Feel free to pause this video because you can actually roll your Blades Cause Fang die and you can gain additional powers as well. Very cool. And here is Forge with two different team abilities, the X-Men team ability as well as the Shield team ability. And at 35 points, he has a total of 4 clicks, Perplex and Support. This is a really, really cost-efficient figure. And I believe that you may see him in your pulp teams. Very cool. And let's take a quick look at the scalps over here. Okay, let's pry that open. Psylocke, our rare figure. Okay, and let's take a look at Wolverine. Okay, I believe this is based off uh, comic book artwork. And here's Lady Mastermind. And here's Outlaw. Don't really know too much about her. And here we have Psylocke with a Psionic Blades. Very, very cool. One of my favorite characters, Bestie Bedrock, who is the current Captain Britain. And here's our other rare figure, Forge, with that huge, huge gun. Very nice. Okay, let's put those figures aside and go on to our third booster. Now we've opened a total of three wares in two boosters. It's really, really good. It's quite unusual to open two rares in a single booster. And let's keep the momentum up. It looks like we got our very first generic figure. We got the Time Breaker, we got Copycat, we got Diamondback, and we got Sabertooth Rare, as long as White Fox. And let's take this character cards open. Okay, we got Gambit, one of the super rare figures of the set, as well as Scarlet Witch. I really want this version of Scarlet Witch. And let's take a look. We got Diamondback, who is one of the Hotshots character. You can play at 45 points, and she opens with a 12 attack energy explosion. That is really cool. And here we have Copycat, which is Vanessa. Now you actually see a version of her inside the Deadpool movies. And here's the back of the card. And now to our very first generic, which is the Time Breaker. For 5 points, you got 1 click. They have the autonomous symbol. I probably need 10 of them because this trait to you know fling your friendly characters to the other side of the map is very powerful we've also got white fox which is another hotshots character 45 points for a total of six clicks charge placidity as the movement special that is really really powerful and lastly one of my favorite villains we got saber tooth 75 points for a total of nine clicks at the beginning of the turn you can heal him one click and he has a special movement power for Charge, Flurry, and Leap Climb. My favorite combination, Charge and Flurry. And let's take a quick look at the scalps. Let's take these open. I really like this booster that we just opened. I know I need 10 of these Time Breakers. And this Sabertooth that we just saw is a close combat monster. And I can't wait to use him in my pop games. And here's Time Breaker, who's raising his hands, about to ask a question. So adorable. And here we have Diamondback, looking all cool with the shades on. And here we have White Fox. Oh, I did not mention that she actually has the Mystical Team ability. And here we have Copycat with the Traded Shape Change and Sidestep. And lastly, we got Sabertooth, our rare figure. And looks like Wolverine already got to him by scratching his back. Sabertooth here is about to pounce on his opponents, tear them to shreds. Such an awesome scout. And let's put those figures aside and go on to our booster number 4. So far we've opened a total of 4 rares in 3 boosters. We have not opened a super rare figure yet. So uh, let's keep our fingers crossed that we open one right now. If not, you know, let's pull a good rare. And here we go. 
Okay, looks like we got Lady Mastermind, our first duplicate. We got Copycat, we got Morph. Okay, we've also got Sheriff Deadpool as well as another Time Breaker. And let's take a look at the character cards inside. Okay, watch me struggle with plastic. And here's another hint card. We got Deadpool and Death. That is such a cool scout. I definitely want that chase figure. And oh, okay. So these are the versions of dices that you can get in this set. Very cool. Okay, we got Sheriff Deadpool. But let's take a look at that later. Copycat, we already saw her. Timebreaker. And here we have Morph, where you can play him at two different point values of 75 points or 40 points. He's the team player team ability, as well as a traded toughness and shape change, but he succeeds on 4 to 6. Very cool. Opens with charge or sidestep. And here's Sheriff Deadpool with the PD or team player team ability, 75 points with improved targeting hindering. He also has two different traits for a total of 7 clicks, quick draw and I will multi smite you. That's really adorable. And let's take a quick look at these two scalps. Now the other three were actually duplicates from our earlier boosters. And here we go. Here we have Morph, who is making his appearance in the X-Men Animated 97. And here's Deadpool, looking all smart. Okay, and let's put those two figures aside and go on to our booster number 5. And let's see what we can get. So no super rares yet in 4 boosters. Let's see what we're going to get. Okay, looks like we got Jamie Madrox. We got our first Logan Wolverine. We got a Deadpool robot. We got Darken. As well as a... Wow. Okay, looks like we put our very first Prime figure. It is the Rare Prime Rogue. And I can't wait to take a look at her character card. Let's see what powers can this Rogue do. If you are new to Hero Clicks, you can actually scan this QR code to learn how to play this wonderful game and go and buy this starter set. And here we have the Rare Prime Rogue. She comes at two different point values of 250 points and 175 points. She has the Brotherhood Team ability as well as the Cosmic Energy Team ability. Traded Stealth, Super Strength. When Rogue hits, the hit characters can't use displayed powers until your next turn. If the hit character was equipped, unequip them. And when Rogue hits, choose a standard power printer on the character's card and you can use that chosen power this game. She also has a stop click, stop invincible. When the click is revealed, remove an action token from Rogue. This is a beast. A close combat beast with 10 movement, hypersonic, 5 damage as well. And here we have Uncommon Darken, which you can play him at 75 points or 50 points. He has two traits, which is family bonding as well as a healing factor that allows him to kill two clicks if you have no action tokens. Good figure. And here's the Deadpool robot, who is very funny because of his alternating clicks. In the back of the card. And now here we have multiple men, and I need multiple copies of him, pun intended. This is a very good 10 points, where he grants empower for the team. And lastly, we have Wolverine, 70 points. You know, you can roll D6 and get whatever powers the die result is. If you roll 6, you can choose any number of those results. Very cool. And let's take a quick look at the scalps. So we're done with five boosters. So far, we've uh, had a pretty good pull. We had one booster with two rares, and we just put our very first rare prime, which is Rogue over here. One of my favorite X-Men characters. And let's take a look at the scalp. Here we have Jamie Madrix, the multiple men. We got Logan, James Howlett. Very cool. And here we have the Wade Wilson Life Model Decoy. It's very shiny for a figure. And here we have Darken, the son of Wolverine, who is one of the members of the Marauders team. Okay. And here we have Anne Marie Rogue, our very first prime figure for the brick. Now, you normally can pull up to one prime per brick. So I'm very happy that our prime for this break is rope. And now we're going to move on to our last five boosters, starting with booster number six. Let's keep the momentum up. We have been having great pulls so far. And here we go. I do hope you've been enjoying this unboxing video. If you could give me a like, it really goes a long way to help my channel grow. And okay. 
Wow, okay, looks like we put our very first super rare figure, which is Maverick. Okay, let's uh, take away this character card first. Five brand new characters. We got Richter, who is a common figure at 60 points. We got first Hydra Agent Generic, 15 points, with the Masters of Evil and Hydra Team ability. Cut off one hit, and so on. Here we have James Howlett, we got Baby Wolverine, 40 points for a total of 6 clicks. This is where he first got his mutant powers. And here we have Atlas Bear, one of the hotshots. Now if you tell me this scout belongs to a super rare character, I would totally believe you. You can play at 70 points or 50 points. And this is the hotshots carrier piece, because she has passenger 5 with flight. Okay. This is also a Wakanda character. That's interesting. And lastly, we got our very first super rare figure, which is Maverick. 75 points or 50 points. Traded Force Blast, and when he takes damage or is knocked back after resolutions, heal him one click. Here's the team player team ability, as well as Corrosive Blast, which is energy explosion and penetrating psychic blast. And he can also knock back characters and give them enzyme tokens. That is a wonderful combination of powers. And let's take a quick look at the scalps. Okay, that's James Howlett, Baby Wolverine, we got Atlas Bear, such an awesome scout, and our very first super rare, Marvick. Okay, here we have our Hydra Agent. And here's Victor. Okay, looks like I actually printed the cracked floor for him. And here's James Howlett, Wolverine, and we have Atlas Bear. Okay, Vibrania Meteor Hammer. That's what she's swinging in the air. And here we have Marvick, one of the Weapon X members. It's a very cool, very 90s costume. He's got so many padding and pockets. I, I don't know what he's keeping. Hopefully something useful for him in battle. And now moving on to our next booster. So we put... One rare prime, we put one super rare. Let's see what we're gonna get over here. And looks like we got our classic 002 Deadpool, our common Deadpool, and wow, Deadpool and Cable in the same booster. This is the super rare Cable. That is a massive, massive gun. I'm not sure what he's compensating for, but my goodness, that is not a gun, that's actually a huge cannon. Our second super rare figure, Cable is a unique character. Okay, I can't wait to see what Cable does. Let's put that figure aside. The rest of our booster, and it looks like we got our very first die, which is Deadpool die. And let's give this die a roll. And it looks like we got a 5, our favorite number to see for our Hellfire Gala X-Men pieces. Now, the Hellfire Gala Avengers box will be released next month, and that is a definite buy for me. And here's the hint card for Wolverine. As well as Wolverine and She-Hulk doing the Fastball Special. That is one of the chase figures that you can find in this set. And here's Deadpool. 70 points, 002 Deadpool. Our common Deadpool with the unkillable mercenary trait. In the back of the card. Okay. And here's our common Wolverine. Let's go bub. But we already saw that. And our uncommon Mystique. One of the favorite figures that I want to use in Pulp. Wide Array of Powers, only for 30 points, a very good tie-up piece. In the back of the card, with the Brotherhood Team ability. And here we have Scout, Honey Badger, Gabby Kinney with the Family Bonding trait, as well as the Honey Badger trait where you can generate a Honey Badger Bystander, where you can find at the back of the card. Charge, Blitz Calls Fang, Toughness, as well as Exploit Weakness. And here is Cable. At 90 points or 40 points, Cable is a team player team ability. He can be assigned up to two equipment during Force Construction, and he can be equipped with any number of equipment. My goodness, this guy is holding all the weapons and molding the new mutants into the X-Force of the future. When you're establishing team teams, characters with the new mutants keyword gain the X-Force keyword. And he also has a power action where you can trade places between two characters. That is a very useful trait. And let's take a quick look at the scalps. We already saw Wolverine. So let's see the four other scalps. Starting with Gabby Kinney. She is so adorable. She's wearing like a sweater or uh, jacket of Wolverine. And here's our common Deadpool. It's a very simple scalp. 
And here we have Mystique, who is popping out some claws as well. Very nice. And lastly, our super rare figure Cable, holding a big, big gun. Such an awesome scalp. One of the super rare figures that I definitely want from the set. Okay, and let's put this heavy figure aside. And here's the die. Okay, and now we're going to move on to our next booster. We've already opened a super rare figure as well as a rare prime. Let's see what else can we get. Okay, looks like we've got Iceman. we got um, Cannonball. Okay. we got a common Wolverine. And it looks like... Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Is that Vox Ignis? Now, if you know me, I'm a huge fan of X-Men as well as Ghost Rider. I'm, I love the spirit of vengeance. And I just put another Prime. Looks like I got two Primes inside my brick. That is, you know, really unbelievable. And let's take a look at the character cards. Looks like we got Iceman. One of the sought-after pulp pieces where you can give other characters plus one attack if they don't have special powers. And here's Wolverine. Common Wolverine at 60 points with the healing factor trait. Back of the card. And here's the Uncommon Mystics that we saw earlier. And here's a hint card for a Super Rare Magneto. That's nice. And another hint card for the Spirit of Variance, Vox Ignis. I'm so happy to be opening this figure. A Super Rare Prime figure. And as a huge Rider fan, I definitely want this figure. 90 points, a Rider must have a steed. Now at the beginning of the, uh, beginning of the game, you may place him on a Jason friendly card and you can actually grant him the traits of this character which is Spirit of Variance, the Cosmic Energy as Mystic's Team Ability you can give the character Mind Control Penetrating Blast as well that is a load of powers for 90 points this is an awesome Prime figure and let's take a look at the scalps now we already saw Mystique but let's take a quick look at Vox Ignis our super rare Prime figure for this brick I'm still so amazed that we actually opened two Prime figures in one brick. And here's Iceman eating the ice cream cone. Vanilla ice cream for sure. And here is Wolverine. Okay, in that classic X-Men costume. And here is Vox Ignis, our spirit of variance. That is so cool. Now the non-Prime version of Vox Ignis is a super rare Banshee that I'm also looking forward to see. This Prime figure has a very nice set of powers that he can grant his friendly characters with. And when they get KO'd, he can pop onto the field as well, continuing the attacks. And now we're moving on to our second last booster. Oh dear, we're coming towards the end. And let's see, what can we get? Okay, looks like we got Diamond back. We got Jeff, we got Sunspot, we got Beast as well as Bob, the Hydra agent. I'm still so surprised that we are already into our ninth booster and we are not pulling a lot of duplicate figures. Here's Diamondback, Jeff the Land Shark that we saw earlier, and here's Sunspot, which could be played at 80 points, Running Shark, Pulse Wave, 4 damage, my goodness, and Outwit and Super Senses. Here's Bob, Agent of Hydra, which is Deadpool's friend. Do you offer Dental Deadpool? <laughs> 30 points. And here is Beast, Toughness, Combat Reflexes, when Beast uses Outwit, he can choose three standard powers. Wow, that is like doing Outwit three different times. This is definitely going to see a lot of play in Pulp. And here's a hint card for Elsa and Deadpool. This Beast is really, really good. And let's take a look at the scout for these three figures. Really excited to play this Beast. Okay, let's put the character cards aside. And let's take a look at Sunspot who is also part of the X-Men 97 series. And here's Bob, side by side with the Hydra agent. Looks like Bob is less violent, he's not holding a knife. And here is Beast, in his deep thoughts, thinking about, I don't know, philosophy and stuff. Sitting on a rock, where he can outwit three different powers. And on to our last booster, you know, Opening all these 9 boosters has been such a great joy. I've opened so many cool super rare figures, especially Vox Ignis, one of the characters that I wanted to pull. And here we have Wolverine, 
we got Sunspot and looks like we got two dices. Okay, we got classes, a super rare gambit, as well as an uncommon Deadpool. My goodness, our last booster, and we are still pulling brand new characters. Looks like we got two dices packed into one pack over here. We got our normal Wolverine, blue and yellow dices, and looks like we wrote a one that's not good, but at least our gambit dice is the ace of spades. At least it's a spade. I'm not sure if it's an ace or not, but for Gambit's sake, it is an ace of spades. And here are our, our character cards. We got Wolverine, we got Sunspot, we got the Uncommon Deadpool. You can play him at 50 points. You want to get Manga? Let's get Manga, okay? <laughs> Total of 7 clicks for 50 points. Team player, team ability. 100 points Colossus. Colossus and adjacent friendly characters that share a keyword can reduce penetrating damage, can't have their combat values modified by opposing effects. Defend, invulnerability with protected outwit and pulse wave. Wow. And lastly, we have our super rare gambit, one of the earliest previewed figures that comes with his own die. You can roll the diamonds, hearts, clubs, and spades, and you get different powers. Here's the hint card for domino and long shot. Now these are our last 5 figures for our booster break. I do hope you have been enjoying this unboxing with me. And let's take a look at the scouts for these 3 figures that we have not seen yet. And let's take a look at the Uncommon Deadpool first. Okay, this is a very similar pose as our Robot Deadpool. Just that one is shiny, one is not. Even the head scalp is slightly different. And here we have Colossus in his underwear, flexing his muscles. <laughs> it's really funny. Now this Colossus also has a Prime version. And lastly, here we have Gambit. Such a cool scalp. Gambit and Rogue, two of my favorite characters. The names Gambit, Monami, remember it. What a way to end off this unboxing. But before we go, let's take a look at our Legacy card. Now there are a couple of Legacy figures that I own. I'm keeping my fingers crossed that it's either Krokoa or Wolverine X23 because those are two characters that I really want to see. But regardless, I do hope that we pull something really nice. Let's tear this open and let's see what we get. Oh, okay. <laughs> Looks like we got Deadpool and Bob. Unfortunately, I do not own this figure. And here we go. Deadpool and Bob can make their own bystander as well. A sheep bystander. Now, all of these clicks, only for 80 points. That is a huge down length, especially has a middle invincible clicks. Okay. And the back of the card. Ridiculous regeneration. My goodness, they actually brought this power back. Now, this power was in the Deadpool Web of Spider Man uh, version. Nice to see this power coming back. And yeah, so this is the legacy card that we opened. I believe we just opened an awesome brick. Even though we did not open any chase figure, we actually opened two prime figures. That is something that I was not expecting at all. We opened so many cool super rare figures today. We got Marvick, we got Cable, as well as Gambit, who has his own die. We've also opened two Prime figures inside our break. We got a rare Prime Rogue, as well as a super rare Prime Vox Ignis. Now, as a huge fan of the Ghost Rider and the Spirit of Vengeance, I'm so delighted to be opening this figure. Our legacy card is Deadpool and Bob. Though I do not own the figure, I'm definitely going to hunt for it right now. And I would like to thank WizKids once again for giving me this opportunity to do this unboxing video with you. If you could, give a like, share and subscribe and I'll see you in the next one.